Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video I'm going to show you a new feature in version 10 called Boost. Boost allows Eclipse to listen to your audio and compare it to the text that you have written and make corrections where they're appropriate. Using and setting up Boost is incredibly easy. Boost can be turned on in two places either in the Translate Notes window or, under User Settings, Translate Translation Magic. If you check Boost in one place, it will also be checked in the other, and vice versa, if you uncheck it in one place, it will also become unchecked in the other. In order to use Boost, you do need to use certain audio settings. You can use PCM at 1616, or you can use Opus, which is also new in version 10. Once you've selected the correct audio compression and you've enabled Boost, all you have to do is make sure that you're connected to the internet and begin translating, and you can start benefiting from Boost today. I'm in Eclipse version 10, and before using Boost, I want to make sure that I have the correct audio settings selected. I'm going to go to Settings, Real-Time, Audio Compression. Here, I can choose the Compression button, I can either choose Opus and press OK, or I can select PCM and set it to 16.00 kHz at 109 MB per hour. Either of these compression settings will work with Boost, however it does need to be one of these two settings. I'll press OK and OK, and now if I move to the Translate tab and press Translation Magic, you see that I have a Boost checkbox here. If I hit the Translate Notes button, you see that there's also a Boost checkbox there. If the Boost box is checked in one location, it will also be checked in the other. Whichever location you want to go to to turn Boost on or off is absolutely fine. After ensuring that you have the right audio settings and that Boost is turned on, all you have to do is make sure that you're connected to the internet, and I see that I do have a green SRV connection, and I can press OK to begin real time. I'm in real time and now in the top right you see that in addition to the green SRV indicator, I also have a green COM4 indicator for my writer and a green GGL indicator for Google Speech Services. This is what allows Boost to listen to the audio and process it in comparison with your text. Now that everything is connected, I'm ready to begin real time and start writing and recording audio. When we started the deposition, I typically like to get a background on someone, where they're from, where they went to high school, all of that stuff just to, you know, get lay a groundwork. And I didn't do that this time because we just kind of jumped into things. But where did you grow up? I grew up in Tishomingo, Oklahoma. Where is it again? Tishomingo. Oklahoma. Okay, and did you go to high school in Tishomingo? Yes, sir. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you see the text that Boost is processing. This represents the text that Boost hears, and it's the text that will be compared with what you have written or uttered if you're a voice writer. As Boost is processing the text, it moves through the document and any changes that Boost has made are highlighted in green with blue text. All Boost changes use user color text type 8 and so this color can be customized. Uh, after high school, college? Uh, basic training for the Army. Basic training. Oh, basic for training for the Army. Okay. And where was that? Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. All right, and then after, uh, did you go? I, I, I joined the National Guard, so upon completion of... Uh... I've paused my real-time and audio, and you see that even in this first dozen lines of this transcript, Boost has been able to make several corrections. As the Boost cursor moved through the document, all of the changes that it made were highlighted with a color of my choice. This is blue text with a green background. And you see that it correctly gave us the name Tishomingo, Oklahoma in two places. 
and additionally, only the text that is actually changed by boost is highlighted, not the entire word that I wrote. I've increased the size of my steno notes so that you can see the confidence scores next to each of the strokes. Here, with the word Tishomingo, you see that Eclipse was only 64% certain that Tish was the correct beginning sound, and 0% certain that Ming was the correct end sound. And based on these confidence scores, Boost made the change to Tishomingo, which is what it heard. Additionally, up at the beginning of the document, Boost was able to insert phrases that I dropped entirely. To change the color of the Boost changes, you can go to User Settings, Display, and from the Color Selection drop-down list, choose User 8 Color. This allows you to change the foreground color and the background color to anything that you'd like so that all of your Boost changes in your document stand out. And again, you can always tell how much text Boost has processed because Boost will be listed as its own cursor in the document. As you continue to write real time and Boost continues to hear audio and compare it to your text, it will continue to make corrections to your text based on the confidence scores found in your notes. Boost is very easy to use. You can simply turn it on and take advantage of all that it has to offer immediately. In a future video, I'm going to show you how you can use Boost on files that have already been translated, as well as how you can use Boost on demand with a Boost request stroke. To use Boost, give Account Services a call today. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.